everybody. So, I watched a movie recently. You probably know what it is based on the title and the thumbnail. But it got me thinking about interpretation between the older versions and the newer ones. And it really got me to kind of compare both of them a bit more. And it helped me realize how story has grown in movies. That everybody needs a backstory. Everybody who's a very important character that's focused on, they need something. Which we didn't get in the first Willy Wonka chocolate factory, or I guess Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, the, the original one. Uh, it just kind of felt like Candyland. Um, Willy Wonka just seemed like a goofy guy. That was it. He didn't have anything to him, per se. All we could really think is that he required loyalty, and that was pretty much it. So when it really comes down to it, we didn't really have him as a character as much. It was pretty much just Charlie and his family that were characters, that were actually like full-on characters that had everything pl planned out, like their past and who they are, why they are feeling this, who they're attached to, that sort of thing. We all knew that about them, but we didn't for Willy Wonka or anybody else. We had no clue, which the reboot solved it solved really well. It gave almost every single character a backstory. It, and by backstory, I guess it could technically be vague, but they have it, at least. All of the winners for the golden tickets that aren't Charlie, they all have like their own little segment of who they are and why they're excited and everything like that and if they think they're gonna win the prize and everything and that's how we get to know those characters is through those little sections and then eventually when they're all together we get to see them converse and grow even more and i think the same deal is kind of with willy wonka um Throughout the movie, we can tell that he is not too fond of parents. And there's a good reason behind this. It's because his dad was against him doing what he dreamed to do. Make chocolate. Because he was a dentist. So, we get that backstory. And it makes him feel a lot more like a human being than just a stepping stone to greatness. And you get that a lot more in the newer one because when it comes down to it, at the end, Charlie turns away Wonka because of family. And Wonka doesn't get it because he gave up what he had to move forward because his dad didn't believe in it. So when it came down to it, he didn't really have a family. Family. He had the Oompa Loompas, which they also got a backstory. Isn't that interesting? And that was it. Like, he fired all of his regular workers. All he had were the Oompa Loompas. That was it. So when it came time for for that uh, announcing that Charlie is the winner and everything and that he would have to give up his family and he said no, Willy Wonka's confusion made sense because we know that we, we know the chemistry between him and his father. We know that they disagreed on a lot of things and that Willie ran away to become a chocolatier. 
We know that. So it makes him feel a lot more like a human being, a lot more like a character than the original because he was just Mr. Candyland. I mean, he just was the guy who owned the factory. But in the reboot, he was a lot more of an actual character that was strung out and had moments where it made sense. And we also got to know why the golden tickets even were a thing. In the original movie, they just they didn't say a single thing. But we got to know why the golden tickets were there. And we got to know Willy Wonka more. And it kind of gave the story more meaning. Because I, if I remember correctly, the original didn't do anything. I, it just it seemed like it was there to entertain people. Like, there was no side message or anything. And I feel like the, it really changed in the reboot. There was a lot more meaning to the story. And it was all about family, which was super important to Charlie. And then he convinced Wonka to reseal the bonds that were broken with his father it just it gave the, the story so much more meaning than yay woohoo you own candyland congrats what are you gonna do now i don't know it gave it so much more meaning and depth to characters and it made the story so much more interesting to watch I mean, sure, you can get caught up in you can get caught up in a film. I know, that was pretty much every single sequel trilogy movie in Star Wars for me. But when it comes down to it, and you really think about it, the new one's so much better. There's so much more story and who people are, and it gives so much more of a definition of what to be thankful for. I mean, sure, Willy Wonka ditched his family and was successful, but if he had the support of his father, you know how much more happy he would be? I mean, he did run off, but... I mean, he had to be lonely. When you really think about it, he did he did not believe in family. He he tossed family aside, put the business first. He didn't have anybody to lean on. He leaned on himself. And that probably felt pretty lonely. So when it actually like the story finished, you feel this kind of resolution going through everything and it's just perfect. But in the original one, it's the resolution is just he wins. That's it. And sure, Charlie lives ha happily ever after, but I mean, what about Willy Wonka? What about all the other kids? What about everybody else? That's one of the things that I really appreciate in the reboot is just, it's so much deeper. And it really expresses humanity itself. It shows that people are complex. There's no such thing as a non-complex human being because we all have something. And it really showed in the movie with the constant flashbacks of Willy Wonka and the pausing when having to say parents or family, you could tell that he kind of just cut it out of his life. And it's very interesting. And that's why the story is so good, is because of the fact that everything is ticking. Every single part of the story has meaning. Every single part. But 
in the original, they're just all set up to, well, for Charlie to win. They're just obstacles that he has to get through or survive through, I guess. So when it comes down to it, there's not much meaning behind it because it's pretty much just a contest. But the new one is a full-on story. Every single section has meaning to it. Every single section, you, you feel something. And that's important in just storytelling in general. That's what makes stories so good is because you would, you become attached to these characters and then they change over time. And that's what makes it interesting. But in the original, you can't really attach yourself to any of them besides Charlie. Because that's the only person that you get. When it comes down to it, that's the only person you know anything about. Anything. Willy Wonka, you know nothing about him. The other kids, you know like their basic impulses, that's it. You know absolutely nothing. But Charlie. So you can only connect with him. But in this other story, you can connect with so many other characters because we know their basic impulses. We know what they want. We know how they act. We know how they behave. We know everything about these characters and what makes them who they are. And that's very important. It's so important to making just an interesting story in general. And I... I'm very glad that uh, that uh, randomly appeared on cable. <laughs> I never would have thought to rewatch it. It just popped up and I was like, hey, it's been a while. Let's just sit down and watch it. I'm glad I did. I'm very glad I did. So. Yeah. Um, what do I think of this movie? I I'd say a 3.5. Um, if you don't know, I, I made up my own scale. One, completely terrible. Two is like the eh, okay. Three is good, but I don't think I would watch it. Like, if, if I had to choose, I don't think I'd go to that. Four is, that was great. I'd go back to that. Five is obsession. <laughs> Five is when you watch the same movie three days in a row. <laughs> so I think I'd put that somewhere about 3.5 because I, I have gone back to it. And it was really good. But I don't, I, it's not at four. and it, It's not at three and it's not at four. So it's somewhere in between there. And I think 3.5 kind of sums that up pretty well. So that's my thoughts on the movie. If you did enjoy it, please hit the like button and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>